Captain Cole. Is he here? I have nine daughters. They all wear dresses. What is it you want? A cup of water. Yeah. Come. Do I know you? My name is Agostina Vega. Vega? A common name. It's a great name. I rode with Benito Vega for many years. And now you work for a ranger, Captain. The wars are over. Where is he? He went back? He only stayed one night. He's crazy, Captain Cole. All them rivers to cross. He said I should go to. I crossed too many rivers already. People leave. That's the way it is. He can cross all them rivers he wants. To you, Augustus. First man I know get himself in the shooting scrape after he's dead.
help you? But you might help me find Gideon Walker. Gideon Walker. I don't guess we know him. Gideon Walker, Texas Rangers. Heard he was here, San Antonio. Oh. That feller. <laughs> he claims he was a ranger. I was a ranger. Rode with Captain Gussis McRae. One of the finest lands of the call. If you say so. I do say so. No offense, mister. Just seems peculiar. Why's that? A man fought all the battles he claims he has, being a dressmaker. <laughs> dressmaker. Uh, uh, we really shouldn't be doing this. Mm. I'd like to speak to Gideon Walker. He is busy, senor. He's in the feeding room. Mrs. Wentworth ready? She is in the feeding room. Mrs. Wentworth? Thank you so much, Mr. Walker. I do appreciate your getting right to it. Always a pleasure, ma'am. Mr. Wentworth, sure do envy you your banker's hours. Do you need a deposit on the dress? No, 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 sir. I trust you. Ranger Walker, what a sorry sight you are. Captain, Captain, don't judge me too harshly. Good yeah, thing Gus ain't around. See what you come to. It's all just my grief showing. My wife died four months ago. And I've been hurting for a woman's touch. Well, I am sorry to hear that. But like they say, as you sow, so shall you reap. I believe that's a true statement. Let me buy you a drink. We'll sit and talk. After all, it's been some time. Captain. May we just have a talk? Me and Dolly wasn't married six months. She got hit by a runaway freight wagon. Happened right here, right out in front on the way to the dress shop. She died instant. Lost a wife, inherited a business all in a blink. It's a good business, dressmaker. Gideon Walker, you are in a different world. Same world, Captain. Different times. Gus used to say, a man's like a river. Gotta keep on flowing where the force of nature takes you. You must miss old Gus. To Captain Augustus McCray.
the sunny slopes long ago. <sighs> Had an idea you might help me run some Mustangs up to Montana. Because it was you first showed me the herd that time, you and Augustus. No point with that now. Seeing you are as I find you, but I am fixing to take that herd. Well, that's fine, Captain. I, I appreciate you even consider telling me about it. Besides, I'm through with ranching. I do wish you'd uh, reconsider your feelings about me, though. I know I must look a little funny here. But after all, I'm just a human. You too, Woodrow. No offense, but you made your mistakes too. What about that whore Maggie you throwed that child with? What was his name? Newt, wasn't it? We just had our last conversation for quite some time. Oh, oh now wait, Captain. Uh, Mr. Walker, I owe you something uh, for my wife's dress. Drop it. Drop that pistol. Oh. <laughs> he missed. He missed it, Woodrow. He missed my bean by two inches. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm all right. I'm going to be all right. What's all that commotion out there? Did you get my buggy? Doctors downstairs, holding back quite a little crowd. All concerned with the health of your private parts, I reckon. Hand me those clothes. Well, look just how private them parts are is the question, ain't it? Untie this thing, will you? Woodrow, I gotta get out of here before someone else finishes the job. For if the truth be known, I, I've sold quite a few dresses lately. Please, give me a hand with this thing. Might be I have to just let you sit in the smell of your own cooking for a while. I've learned my lesson, Woodrow. I've learned it well and good. Now, please, help me with this. Ah! Oh. I'd forgotten how truly perverse you can be. Put your pants on. Uh, Jim, lift up your side a little. Stop it there. Lippy, bring your side up some. Hold it there. Well, the Hat Creek Cattle Company. God. You can't read, P. How the hell you know that's what you wrote? Read the same as it did on Gus's side, and, and I read it just how I remembered it was. Jim, lift your side up a tad bit. Good. Hold it there. Tie it off. You come friendly, Lippy? Hell, Lippy can't read neither. <laughs> People know where they're going, don't need a sign to tell them where they got. That don't make no sense. This ain't the Hat Creek. We are 200 rivers north of the goddamn Hat Creek. That's who we are. It says so right up there to prove it. Hey, Ben, spike them posts good and hard on the downhill slopes. Snow comes, they'll catch drifts. I ain't no sod buster. I'm a top hand. I didn't sign on and drive cattle all the way to the Milk River to wind up digging in the dirt and hammering nails. You're not doing nothing. None of the rest of us ain't doing, Jasper. I don't see new swinging no hammer. New trains, boss. Captain said.
where the captain is now. I wonder when he's coming back. Well, how do we know he's coming back at all? Captain always comes back. Gus didn't. That was different. Well, how is it any different? It's the same trail, same Indians, same damn rivers, and he's tried it twice as many times as we did. Odds are twice as high. He's got twice as many arrows in him as Gus has. Jasper, don't be carrying on that way about the captain. No more. Indian. Get your horses! Over the range. All right, it's coming from the south. Get your guns, too. Come on! Help me Rustlers in that draw. Someone up that hill shooting at me. Come on, boys. <laughs> Change brands, all right. Near Circle K. Must be that spread north of here, Kenilworth. Oh, there's one of ours. Sure, fairly caught one right through the throat, Newt. B, hey, boys, keep an eye on that hill. Look around. Are you hit? What are you staring at? You never seen Tate before? How bad is it? It's just a scratch. Here. Oh, son of a bitch. We gotta get you to Mile City, a dock. Just take me home. What, where's that? Kenilworth. I took that off a suit, Chief. Tried to ram it through me. See your dubs? Yes, sir. Gregor Dunnigan. Mr. Dunnigan. People call me Newt. What do you drink, Newt? Well, I, I don't much, really. I was born lucky, Newt. But you doing what you did today was as big a piece of luck as I'd known you. I love that call more than life. We just heard the shots. Nonsense, you wrote to them. Too many thieving bastards forcing their way into Montana right now. Single malt, Scottish whiskey. Smells like heather, tastes like honey. Bold deeds, good neighbors. Cheers. Ah, 
Give me some of them. Well, I never tasted honey like that before. Them bees must have left their stingers in it. Hmm. So, you're a Texan? Yes, sir. Who brought me back? Still here? With Mr. Dunigan. All right, will you bring me my brush and my mirror? You, know, you need a rest. No, I've got things to say. Would you just get them for me? And let Mr. Dunigan know that I'm ready to see him, all right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Three thousand miles. <laughs> That's a hell of a drive. Yes, sir. And this uh, man you uh, work for, Cole, is it? Captain Cole. Army man. Texas Rangers. Hmm. Finest mounted fighters ever was, I'm told. Well, I wouldn't know, sir. Are you Texas Ranger, Newt? No, sir. Did you bring any Texas Rangers with you? Well, P.I. and Needle Rangered some. P.I., Needle. And Gus, Captain McCray. But he died. And so did Dietz. An Indian killed him with a lance like that one. And Jake Spoon, the captain hanged him. Hung one of his own men, did he? Jake went off on his own. Fell in with some killers. I ain't exactly sure what happened. But I watched the captain hang him. Sounds like a hard mind, this captain. Yes, sir. But he's fair. And you're loyal. I like that. Mr. Donegan. I think I should be getting back to the outfit now. Oh, no, no, I can't have you doing that. You leave without seeing that there'll be hell to pay here. Come on. Yes, ma'am. I mean, I mean Ferris, ma'am. <laughs> Look, I'm happy you ain't hurt so bad. But I should be getting back to my outfit now. Oh, you can't. Why not? Because I said. See, that's how it works around here, whatever I say goes. Did you ever feel a feather bed? Feathers? No, ma'am. Oh, come see how it feels. But cowboys were supposed to be bold and daring. Some, I guess. So what happened to you? I don't know, ma'am. Listen. You saved my life. And you got a job here as long as you want one. Well, thank you, but I have a job. And this is the base ranch in Montana. We got furnishing from Europe and a private library as good as any in Boston. And that's not good enough for you? Well, it's fine. It's, it's just... Are you sure you don't want to see how this feels? Come on. Go, it's all... <laughs> it's 
mask. Does anyone feel like eating? I got a ride. That's nonsense, Newt. If you think we'll let you go on an empty stomach, you certainly don't know me. <laughs> and you certainly don't know my wife. Reminds me of the first time we found this valley. We was pretty much running free as they was back then. So in our oats where we pleased. You was anyway, I'm sure. That was on our way back from that trouble down south with that gal old Gus was so stuck on. What was her name? The one with the bandit brother? Serena Vega. That's it, Serena. <laughs> there was nothing serene about her though. She was as wild as any filly out there. Hell, Woodrow. I'm sorry. Long time ago. So you really want to drive these Mustangs to Montana? Free for the taking. <laughs> that taking ain't gonna be easy. Ain't nothing worth doing, it's easy. I'll give you this idea, Cap. All them graves, I reckon. Man should leave more behind than an old board hammered in a sorry piece of dirt. What is it exactly you plan on leaving behind? Real cap on it. One hits full run, a few strides, hold speed a good distance. You see a horse like that down there? What I see don't exist yet. But you cross them sure-footed little fireballs with some rugged Spanish stock, throw in some of them high-strung racers out of England they're breeding now in Kentucky, and you got it. Well, I see the Mustangs. Where are you going to get blooded racing stock in Texas? We're a long way from Kentucky. Nebraska. Larry Allen. You mend fences with her? As I recall, you were never the best of friends. I got planned for that. Larry Allen's got a bunch of blooded mares she's been breeding colts out of from Spanish studs. And Mustang that, you might have the perfect horse. The kind of horses you're talking about ought to be worth something in a new cow country like Montana. That's what I've been thinking. I'd surely like to go along on this. Well, I ain't fixing on joining up the drive till Nebraska. Well, I will heal up shortly and be fit in every way. But, uh, how would we push these Mustangs all the way to Montana? I got just a man for that.
Nathan, the little one? Remember the baby? And Lizzie. Daddy. Can't believe how they growed. Elizabeth, that bag on the pack horse for you and your mama. Yes, sir. Ison's on a horse as usual. Youngin, take these reins. Mutual friend of ours uh, at a dress shop going out of business. She favors the boy. At least she has in the past. How much they charge for these telegrams anyway? They charge by the word, don't they? By the word? By the letter, maybe. No, each word. Mustang Valley, huh? I'm gonna take that bunch all the way up to Montana. Yeah, that's the idea. What you think about that? Well, could be done. Heard Mustang's a little tricky, though. Get in Walker, right now, picking up a trail crew. What about your brother Isaac? He's the one. I was hoping you'd ramrod this operation. It is dangerous work driving through the nations. I won't be with you till Nebraska, probably. Kim, you want me to leave all of this here for steady work and steady wages? <laughs> What's Montana like, Captain? It's pretty as your smile, man. <laughs> well, I guess we just have to go on up there and see. Hmm? Right. <laughs> I'd like to thank you boys for turning out. What about the jobs? I'm oh, sorry, son. I need more experience. Mister, we've been pushing cows since we could set a saddle. Well, we're driving wild horses this time. Just how much experience you need. I'm looking for some other qualities as well. We shoot as good as we ride. I don't doubt that. Will you come off looking down your nose at us? This won't get you nowhere, son. I ain't your son. 
Ain't no damn farm boy's gonna tuck his tail between his legs and slink off, neither. I meant no offense. And I'll take none if you let me buy you and your friend here a drink. You had two good legs, we'd find out who's better. I think not. You ain't nothing but a crippled coward. Those men deserve what they got. Well, I wished I'd have handled that different, but I lost my temper. You're going to Montana? Yes, ma'am. With horses? That's right. You and Captain McCray had a great success in Montana. Captain McCray? See, si. I hear how you brought him back after he was dead. Everybody has. And now you need men. And I know where there are men who need work. Where's that? Just across the river. Mexican? A good vaquero is worth two of your Texas cowboys. Better with horses. Everybody knows that too. Captain Cole. Well, I'll give you what you say about good vaqueros when you see him. But I must correct you on one point. My name is Walker, Gideon Walker. They told me Captain Call was hiring men. I work with Captain Call. Where is he? Why? It doesn't matter. Do you have a name, Senorita? Agustina. You coming? Say you work. What do you do? I ride with them. I can rope. 
And I'm good with business too. So do we have a deal? <sighs> I'm just thinking how Captain Call's gonna receive a bunch of Mexicans and a woman too. Hellfire, I'll tell you that. Carlos, ven aquí. Gideon Walker, Carlos Herrera, these are his men. Buenos dias, senor. Sus hombres son muy buenos, Carlos. Gracias. This is Carlos' mother, Juana, and his children, Miguel, Sofia, and Eduardo. Salude al señor Walker. Hola, señor Walker. Hola, señor. Hola. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Look at that. That was a pretty sight, eh? Different from chaos. Ain't nothing easy about this trail, I see. Weather, engines, rustlers. Likely get your fill of all. Oh, look at here. My brother Isaac. The only one he's ever come out of the hills for is Sarah. How'd you ever find him, I'd like to know. Now, where is he going? He don't burn much daylight. I need to stop to say howdy. <laughs> no. Not to us. Agostina here. Rides like the wind, throws a mean loop to boot. I might have noted it'd go to this. Before you go getting all frothy, it ain't what you think. He was looking for better men than he could find in Texas. It was a sorry lot in San Antonio. Boys, mostly. And a bunch of mean-eyed types you wouldn't trust as far as you could spit. 
These men know horses. And you know yourself, Woodrow, there'd be no cowboys in Texas or anywhere else if it weren't for their kind. Who's number one are here? What's your name? Como se llama? Carlos Herrera. Carlos Herrera. Let me see that rifle. Who belongs to Grandma and them kids? This is Carlos's mother. Her name is Juana. The children belong to Carlos. Carlos' wife is dead. He won't go without the children. Juana takes care of them. Good piece. And do some work. Nice and clean, too. Carlos don't go, neither do the vaqueros. I've been over this with the girl. These men are top notch. I've seen them work. And crack shots, too, every one of them. Except Grandma. Maybe. Capitan, driving wild horses is not driving cows. These men are not cowboys. They're horsemen. Where'd you learn your English? The sisters at Santa Clarisa's. I was raised there. Convent school. I, too, can outride your cowboys. Captain, their village is poor. The wages these men send back will keep women and children alive. These Mexicans, where we're going, ain't nobody speaks Mexican. How are they going to look after themselves? They're going to be with us. We ain't got time to nurse many people don't even know what the hell we're talking about anyway. They can learn like any other people can. Let me handle no, this. No, I will teach them. Captain, you are right. It will be hard enough for them in a strange place. By the time we get to Montana, they will know English. Let me just see about that. See about all that. Well, I seen your surprise. Now you come see mine. You all stay here. Big as life. Damn it all, Woodrow. You said you got us a good top hand, not some bald-headed horse thief. Now, now, you better watch who you call him bald-headed. I might have to put a hole in that other leg now. <laughs> good to see you again, Isom. You too, Gideon. That's some herd, ain't it? You bet. I judge you're a good horseman. Good men, too. They sit real straight in the saddle. And them children, they uh, be good for Nathan and Lizzie. It's all done, then, I reckon. Hope you brushed up on your sign language. from the captain that Mr. Kruger gave it to me. He said the missus forgot it was in there. Well, you forgot something, ain't you, P? What? We need somebody to read it for us. No, it ain't for me. It's got your name on there. He's Never here. mind. Um, Gregor, I think I'll go over to the general store for a minute. All right, I'll be here. Good to see you. Yes, ma'am. I thought we got past that. Ferris. This here's P.I. Parker. Hi. Howdy. So, did you get a telegram? Just now. It's good news, I hope. Well, I don't know. I was heading over to the sheriff to see if he was going to the sheriff. It's from Texas, Captain Woodrow Call. I know that. I know. Would you like me to read it for you? Well. Here. Newt, meet me Claire Allen's Ogallala. Take Jasper. Leave P in charge. Captain Woodrow F. Call. Ready? 
You're expecting something else? No. Thank you. You'll be leaving then. I suppose. We'll travel safely. Yes, ma'am. Ferris, ma'am, I, I will. Hope to see you when you get back. I do too. Cap said take Jasper and not me. Because he wants you in charge. Knows Jasper to give you nothing but trouble. Lord, I wish it was one of the other boys. As I recall, Captain's done all the thinking for us. You done good while you've been doing it. Lord, I don't believe I... I trust you as much as the Captain P. More even. Because you ain't never held nothing back from me. You're an honest man, P. Remember how Gus used to say the worst an honest man can do is make an honest mistake? Mistake's a mistake, dude, Captain said. Like he ain't never made one. But he has, Pete. He has. When was that, dude? The day I was born. Be tall. Yeah. It's pretty interesting, all right. That, that horse pretty good. He's a proper distance from that girdle now. You getting ready to pull out? Might as well ride hot as cold. Meet you up at Clare Islands. Mm -hmm. Stay west of the nations. Keep a good eye out, daylight and night. Like the Kiowa or Cheyenne roaming around. You best take a piece of your own advice, Captain. We're gonna get all these Mustangs to Ogallala. All of them. See you there, then. Vaya con Dios, Capitan. English! Telegram from Texas. Oh, oh. From Captain Call. Woodrow Call. I think he wants a pair. No? Boy, I have something to say, huh? I heard a wild mustache. I have seen them. So many, it looked like the whole country was running. 
See, I, I went through the stock and picked out some good mares, and I thought maybe that big chestnut from Kentucky might interest a captain for stud. No need to spend time on that. You want your toy? Well, didn't Captain say he's going to by breeders when he gets here? Girls, he's had enough. Why don't you get him cleaned up and tucked in for me, will you? He's rather fragrant. It's all right, Mama. He's just now. Chestnut's gonna sire some good colts. And he'd do real well by the captain. Why he thinks I'd sell my best stock's a mystery to me. We have better things to do than to break our necks, get ready for him to show up. He's not been invited and he's not welcome. I don't need to be attended to. Be some lonesome nights till we get to Nebraska. At least we ain't pushing cows. No, we ain't poking nothing either. Less than we decide to stop in Miles City on the way, have us a little night to remember. We got country to cross, Jasper. Some girls at Squirrel Tooth Betty's ain't too shiny new, but they can damn sure show a man a good time. Not this trip. The captain's waiting on us. Ain't you your own man, Newt? One night. You been there? Hell yeah, I've been there. Man been in Montana for a year, ain't been to Squirrel Tooth Betty's. Hell, and they're as fresh as you are. They'll probably pay us. Okay, let's go. One night. Come on, get him. so many people in Montana. I, unfortunately. You don't suppose it's the celestial violins that attracts them, do you? Free one attracts them. Any man with a long rope and enough nerve has all the capital he needs to thrive here. It could be carved up by little men with little dreams within a blink of an eye. And your investment along with it, gentlemen. Yes, but what do you propose to do about it? This is rather large territory. You can't police it all. When enough people come, they'll cry out for statehood. They'll carve up your empire into little pieces eventually, wouldn't you say? Not as long as I'm here, they would. If you two wish to protect your investment, then I need all the support I can get. I'll lead the way. All you two have got to do is have the courage to follow. You understand me? Now, now, come on. Oh, we're talking to these boys from Texas. Yeah. Yeah. 
Texas? Hell, I knew I smelled cow flop. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Turn her loose. What? Turn her loose before I turn you loose from your teeth. Stop him, Jasper! Nobody spits on me. Jasper, pull it! seen it, Newt. I just did what I had to do. I saw you gun a man in cold blood. Better you took a thrashing than kill a man to spit on you. Yeah, well, you shot too. I had to. Damn you, Jasper! You feel that way, maybe you shouldn't have run with me. Maybe I shouldn't have. It's hard to think when you just shot a man. I could have strung you up, Newt, and you know it. You don't want to die. Just get on that horse, let's cross this river, and keep going till dark. No, I ain't running no more. The only thing I did wrong was run. I don't think they'll hang me for that. Well, you're a fool. They ain't gonna listen to us. We don't know anybody back there. Where you going? I'm going back. What? You gonna leave me? Huh? You're out on your old buddy? After all we come through together all the way from Texas? I guess we don't see it the same, Jasper. It's about as wrong as running gets. I ain't scared of you. Yella. What's gonna happen to me? Don't seem as ever nobody can say. Howdy. Where you headed? Yonder. <laughs> Noticed. You picnicking? 
Join me. Thanks all the same. Going back to Montana now, Captain. I know you someplace. You a famous man. Ranger. Trailblazer. Crazy damn thing you did. Bringing a man back 3,000 miles to bury him. Some say. Good looking animal. Always heard. Woodrow called nose horses. Nice looking paint. Fancy rig, too. Man from the nation's partial to silver. Black like you. Daddy was a buffalo soldier named Jackson. Mama took up with the Cherokees after he died, raised up a real sick, stone cold killer. Goes by the name Cherokee Jack. I've done something to offend you, Captain. You're an offense the whole civilized world, Cherokee. Unbuckle it. Careful now. You might say something I take personal. Wouldn't that just break my heart in two? Ain't too late to forget we ever met. Like to, but I can't. Drop it there. Too bad. We'll be gone for whoever you're waiting for shows. Mount up. We're going someplace special, Captain. Nearest Army Post Fort Dodge. Reckon they'll be happy to see you than I am. So we're 40 miles east. I hate to take you so far out your way. Try not to concern yourself. Move. You know the way. You tell them inside to say their prayers, because we're going to send them both to hell. Dude, I got here as quick as I could. Hold it. Let's have that gun easy. There's a line on the floor. Don't go no closer. Howdy, P. Good to see you, dude. You go blind, P? We're in jail. They're probably going to hang us. I was talking to Newt. Well, good then. You keep it that way. What do you want to do? I don't know, P. I'm thinking on it. Wish the captain was here. Well, he ain't. We got to think for ourselves. Go on now. You get back from that wall. Come on. That's why I was thinking. You got to get the boys together. You got to break us out of here quick. Shut up, Jasper. Ain't you got us in enough trouble? If I hadn't listened to you, I wouldn't be in this iron hotel getting ready to get struck here. If I hadn't listened to you, we wouldn't get be here. Now shut your mouth. I don't up. stretch your neck, stranger. P, you got to send a telegram to Mrs. Allen. Send a telegram. How do I do that? Go to the telegram office. Just tell them what you want to say. They do the rest. What do I want to say? You want to send it to Mrs. Clara Allen in Ogallala, Nebraska. All right. Say, dear Mrs. Allen, we had some shooting in Miles City. None of us is hurt, but Newton Jasper in jail. Please tell Captain Call. Can you remember that? All of it, P. What good's half of it gonna do? Jasper, you can do it, P. Just listen. Send it to Mrs. Clara Allen. Mrs. Clara Allen, man. In Ogallala, Nebraska. Ogallala, Nebraska. Yeah, that's it.
Take all the time you need to think it over, but that's my price. Well, it's an awful stiff price. But they are good horses. What'd you get, July? Well, I think there's a letter here for you and your mama. Sure. Take the captain over to the North Range. Show him our three-year-old. Oh, see, si, senor. Don't argue, don't argue. Sally, give that to me. Come on, give it to me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What's it say, Mama? Yeah, what does it say? My dearest family, <laughs> I have at last arrived in San Francisco. Much of what it took to get here was probably at too great a cost, but I'm here nonetheless. I was surprised by Dish in Salt Lake and finally convinced him that no event of nature could make me content to be his woman. Though he is a true friend, I cannot force myself to love him, so he has gone away. The money from Gus allows me to live in a comfortable fashion, and I am obliged to Mrs. McDonald, my landlady, for setting down these words for me. I've missed all of you every minute I've been away, so it should not surprise you that one day you'll look up and there I'll be. A gal from the big city. Your faithful friend, Lorena Wood. Mama, is Lorena coming back now? No, honey. She always dreamed of going there probably some time before she gets her fail. Where did you get Oh, Mama, Mama, I want to go visit I her. I want to see Lorena now. Listen to me, both of you. Listen to me. Shh, If you care for someone, if you truly care for them, you got to set them free. But you always keep them in your heart. You see, that's where they live. You understand what I'm saying? Because next time I'm missing her, you remind me, all right? <laughs> Go on, put away the supplies. I'll get the flowers back. I'll put away the apples. There, this come too. Yeah, I just thought better giving it to you in front of the girls. And the telegram never seemed to bring good news. Oh, Lord. Newt's got in some trouble. He's locked up in jail with another one of the captain's boys. In jail? For a dull man. Woodrow manages to stir up a heap of trouble. out there want to hang us. And one damn sheriff ain't gonna stop him. Newt? You hear me, Newt? It's about dark 30, man. You better think of some way to get out of here. Bang. You can let these two out. Boys don't work for you, Mr. Dunnigan. Oh, well, uh, but they're going to. 
I saw what happened. Those two men deserve what they got. I, I still got my job to do, Mr. Dunnigan. I, I can't let nobody go unless the judge says so. Ben, I've got a wire here. May get you to change your mind. Governor. Well, well, he still ain't a judge, sir. And and those fellas outside. Are... Tell me, Ben, how much is this shotgun worth? An old thing, maybe twenty dollars when I bought it. Seeing as how you, you got a telegram and all from the governor. They're in my parole, Ben. You can't let them out. There they are. What the hell's going on in here? Now, you bring those two out here, or we're coming in after them. These men work for Mr. Dunnigan. Dunnigan. They're half Creek boys. They don't work for Dunnigan. The, the governor's paroling them into his care. Governor, have to do with it. You can't do that. Now, you gentlemen saw what happened back there in the saloon, didn't you? And you know those two boys got what they deserved. But let me tell you something. If you come here to get these men, then you've got to kill me first. Do you hear me? You can't settle them. Mr. Dunnigan, sir, I owe you my life. I saw you back at the saloon. You do that again, and I'm going to shoot you. Yes, sir. I saw you, too. I told you before, I admire loyalty in a mine. I admire it more when it's better placed. What happened to the men we shot? One died immediately. Yours took a little longer. Now, go and get your horses. Uh, breakfast is at sunrise. What finishes at dark? Newt, come here. Is it your first killing, boy? Aye. You did what you had to do. Put it behind you. Just as good you talk. <laughs>
made over with honey. On your mouth. Your nose. And your ears. But slit your lids. So you don't miss nothing. But you don't have to worry about that. I says to them, it's too easy for a man like you. Ranger. Famous Indian fighter. I say to them they should show you some respect. Let you run.
Here's our figure. We're pretty close to the nations. I heard this size ain't gonna go unnoticed. We best break out the extra hardware when we bed down tonight. We got a river up ahead. Good. We camp there. In the morning, we follow the riverbed so we don't kick up no dust. Forks left and carry us all the way to Canadian. Amigo, it could be one of them times when we find out what your vaqueros is made of. No hay problema con los indios por nosotros. Estamos listos. We'll see. Here's Isaac's food. What's in it? Now, you just let it be. Poor man, he can't wash, can't talk. At least we might as well say he eats good. <laughs> yeah! Where 
Besides from going. He's got his brother's supper. He's gonna stash in the trees up ahead so that Isaac can pick it up without getting too near any of us and taking the human smell back to the herd with him. They trust him completely. Well, he won their confidence slow and easy. Go down every stallion to challenge him. He takes him to fresh grass. He leads him to water. I imagine right about now they'd follow him anywhere. It must be good to feel that safe with someone. Have you never felt that way with a man before? Eman? No. Not even your pa? I never knew him. My mother was killed when I was six. I'm sorry. Bad memories. White man. Her. Her. Ah. 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 I laid a horse. I know what I heard from Jerry Sankowana. I want eh. What happened? You. I run. Arrows. Kaiwe. Naya. Anans. Mahas. Lightning. 
it's out to the north, but uh, there's still no sign of rain. Now, there's some useful information. Would you ever marry me? Have a taste, July. I think I've overdone the cinnamon. You don't have to repeat yourself. I heard you. You gonna give me an opinion on this cinnamon or not? Fine. <laughs> I don't think you're much of a judge of sweets. If you're done cradling those potatoes, you might lavish some of that attention on your son. He's been fretful lately. Martin. Martin. Come on, baby. Up. Up, up, up. Oh. Nanas. Pestle don't work. Broke, see. Good rifle. Hot stove. My hunch. Sister. Lodge empty. Husband die. Greasy grass. Sons die. Running face sickness. I don't need no woman. You need horse. You want? You take woman, too. I can't care for her. You come without fear. She trusts you. I can't. Must be. I not live long. Protect my people. You done right by me. I owe you. Of course, don't change who I am. You fight my people? All my life. Comanche, Kiowa, Muscular Apache. Ain't never been a friend to your people. I take many scalps, like yours, but always with honor. Do you not fight with honor? I do. Then our hearts have. Same scar. I lead my people from camps where trust die, where our spirits die. I 
could not let my son see me do nothing. I honor my father's deeds. My sons honor my deeds. That is how honor is kept in our way. It goes on in our children. Mr. Dunnigan need me? I guess he wouldn't have hauled you out of jail if he didn't think so. You hungry? I got food. I like what I brought. You like peaches? Well, sure. How about cherry tarts? I don't mind tarts. Well, you better, because I brought a whole mess of them. The roof looks nice. Thank you. I saw it need a fixing. You know, Gregor says you're the hardest worker he's ever seen. I haven't seen enough of you to say for myself. I've been busy. You've been hiding. Now come over here before these peaches spoil. You know, you got nothing to be ashamed of, Newt. The men were outlaws. The same breed's been stealing our stock to start up their own outfits. Still be in jail otherwise, no matter how much influence Gregor has. I guess. Well, I know. So what do you think? A what? The operation Kenilworth. Oh, it's it's big. I remember the first time I saw it. Where I came from, it looked like heaven. Pretty close. Strange. What's that? Greg Grana. No. Liar. Everybody thinks it's strange. But they don't know him and they don't know me. He's the first man I could ever trust. Can I trust you, Newt? I guess. I think so, too. You know what you did for me took guts. Did for your friend Jasper, too. So I don't see why you put your life on the line for him. He doesn't seem like the type to do the same for you. Well, we come a long way together. That's worth something. You good friends? Like I said, we come a long way together. Newt, will you be my friend? I need a friend. 
Sometimes I think I'm gonna go crazy with that one. Sometimes I miss the girls back at Harvey so bad. That's the place I worked in Kansas City when Gregor found me. I love Gregor. But he's so old. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just... Sometimes he makes me feel so old, too, you know? Guess you wouldn't. P.I.? My best friend, he's old. I don't like feeling old. But I guess it's better than feeling used. The way other men made me feel. Does that make any sense at all? I don't know. Sometimes I think I've gone crazy and I just don't know it yet. You ain't crazy. Bolivar, our cook back in Lonesome Dove, now he got crazy sometimes. He talked to us. To the wind. Whacked an old bell for no reason. He was crazy. You ain't at all like that. Lonesome Dove, where's that? Oh, Texas. You miss it? Well, it wasn't much of a place, really. Here, try this one. It's got more bang in it. Lunch. Did you get it fixed? Yes, sir. I believe it'll shed water. You're in good company, I see. Yes, sir. I want you to go into town for me. Whilst you're there, you can get yourself a new saddle, bridle, bit, whatever else you might need. How much is in here? What you don't spend, you can bring back, can't you? Mr. Dunnigan. Sir, I don't need nothing. I'll just do my job. Nonsense, lad. You represent me now. Your appearance must reflect your status, mustn't it? Hmm. Where were you? Oh. Yes, sir. That's awfully generous of you. He'll pay me back. He's on the boat. Thing you want me to do? Well, I guess the doctor will be getting here soon. The doctor might have been going in the other direction. This will be over before he gets here. He'll have had the ride for nothing. Baby's dying. I mean, he'll either die or get well before the doctor comes. I've done all I can. Rest is up to Martin. I get too scared. <laughs> 
Shall I uh, fetch you some coffee or? I know my way to the kitchen well enough. You'd have done better to talk to me when I needed it. Well, I guess I'm I'm just no talker. You're not much of anything, but you could be. I know you're smart, because Martin is, and he didn't get it all from your poor wife. But a fence post is more useful generally than you are. Well, I try to help around the place. Uh... I'm not talking about chores. I'm talking about us. I sat here alone all night in this room with your baby. Where were you? Uh, uh, yeah, I wish now that I'd been here with you. I told you how sickness frightens me. The only times I've ever wanted to die is when I've had to sit and watch a child suffer. I didn't want the girls to be here because I don't want them to get death too much in their minds. I sat here and I thought, I'm alone. And I can't help this child. If it wants to die, I can't stop it. I can love it till I bleed and it won't stop it. I hope it won't die. I hope it can grow up and have its time. I know. If I lose one more child, I'll never care again. I won't. I, nothing will make any difference to me again if I lose one more. It'll ruin me, and that will ruin my girls. I'll never buy another horse, or cook another meal, or take another man, or I'll starve, or I'll go crazy and welcome it, or I'll, I'll kill the doctor for not coming, or you for not sitting with me. If you wanted to marry me, why didn't you stay and sit? Would you have ever married me then? I mean, you never said. Don't you lie. If we were in love, we'd both know it. I think you're mistaken affection for love. I was in love once. That's it for me. I'd like to go on being friends. Yes, ma'am. We'll be friends. Yes, 
five. Lodge for water for the horses and the woman. Ma'am. Captain. Note here? No. I told him to meet me. You come down from your horse. We'll get you out of those clothes and into a soak, then we'll talk. You remember July Johnson? No, Captain. July, show him the bathhouse. I'll get the beds ready and see to the woman. Cholo. See. Well, what happened to you? Took a fall. Still haven't exactly said why you've taken such a fancy to new dogs. Neither have you, Lice. It's coming. We're going to need the loyalty of every young man that's not afraid to use a gun. What do you mean? Nature. Living out here where nature can't be tamed has taught me one thing. To stand an even chance, one's got to plan ahead. I don't understand. You will. This new Dobbs, he's got some rough edges, need polishing. I want you to sit him down, teach him to read, do numbers, see if he's got the knack. Oh, and while you're at it, you can uh, pick him out some clothes. The ones that he's wearing looks as if they're hand-me-downs. Why are you asking me to do all this? I've got a feeling about him. I think he's got promise. Gregor? I love you. I love you too, Les. More than the morning sun. Looks like you lost some weight out there. Brought you some of Bob's clothes when you're ready. Finally pulled it in some use. Your wife's sleeping. First time she ever saw a bed. I ain't married. I know Cheyenne Custom. You traded for her, she's yours. I'm proud of it, too. 
You don't know nothing of the kind. She told me quite a lot. As far as I can tell it, her name's Minnie Tears. Sounds about right. Seems she's had enough hard times. She says you came into her people's camp half naked and unafraid. Well, she got that first part right. How'd that come about? She don't speak no English. How'd she come to tell you all this? I've traded with the Cheyenne, too. She says you've been good to her. I'm sure you'll be very happy together. I see why you and Gus are such a pair. Both enjoy a laugh at another's expense. I see whatever calamity you walked into hasn't changed your disposition any. I pity many tears. It's a sad woman needs anything from you. I didn't want to tell you right off, because you're conditioned, but something's happened with Newt. This came. You ought to have told me. Now, if you'll step from this room, I'll dress to leave. I... I was fixing to buy some of your better stock. I some pick it. Gideon Walker. Be along shortly. I appreciate you having them take a look for me. No sense looking. You won't be buying. I can send money just as soon as I get to Montana. I don't want your money. Why's that? I don't need it that bad. There's no excuse for bad manners. I owe you an apology. Just the way it's always been between us. So you won't even let me say I'm sorry? We say goodbye. Neither one of us have a problem with that. Fine. But I want your woman to stay. Thank you. Welcome. I'll have Cholo saddle a horse. And we'll take good care of your wife for you. I'll send payment for all this when I get to Montana. Do right by giving Newt your name at long last. That'll be payment enough. How come you give my brother more food than you give me? I work much harder than he does. Well, just hush and go hang this on Isaac's tree. Almost letting us in with them tonight. Well, we come a lot of miles together. Maybe they're getting to like us. There he is.
nothing against your brother, Ison, but I don't want to get caught downwind of him till he gets to a bathhouse. La Chiva. ¿Cómo se dice en alemán? No, 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 inglés. Escúchame. La noche está oscura, ¿sí? ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Carlos. La noche está oscura. Sí. The night. Sí. Is dark. Sí, es. Sí, the night is dark. Gracias. Thank you, Carlos. Ahora, now, the moon. Mustanger. Seen that done before. Spare anything from your cook wagon for a hungry traveler. We'll go over nice and easy. So as no one gets nervous but me. Any food left over for a hungry stray, sir? Biscuit's still hot. What things you say? Unbroke. Meaning they ain't worth nothing to a horse thief. Not unless he was willing to work at breaking them. Most horse thieves ain't that interested in work, I've noticed. Maybe being a horse thief is work enough. <laughs> Just trying to get a smile, Mr. Walker. How is it you know my name? Gideon Walker. Ranger with Captain Woodrow Call and Augustus McRae. Made Texas safe for plain folk. Like her and me. Ain't that right, sister? True enough. Mr. Jackson. Cherokee Jack Jackson. Some people call me that. My mama should call me Jockey Boy. Maybe she ain't heard you got a price on your head. Not in the nation, sister. White man's law don't mean a damn here. He does in his camp. Relax, Walker. If I'd known Mustangs was here, I'd have stayed in my squat's bed. Well, we won't keep you up any longer. Jackie Boy. Oh, you won't. You're a good coffee, sister. You're a nice smile, too, I bet, when it comes out. Let's go. Good 
luck, Walker. Most men in the nations can't be as choosy as me about their work. Anybody hits this herd, will be hanged. <laughs> the Mexicans fight, can they? They've been fighting Comanches for centuries. See, like real soft people. Especially that sweet little teacher. I may not be the law here, but by God, you are within a hair of losing your worthless life. You pull it, you'd be a long time running down those worthless broom tails. Don't that break your code, Ranger? You're not supposed to be standing and facing you. Go on. Get up. had a disturbing encounter with an infamous bastard by the name of Cherokee Jack. You can? It was Sarah who told me who he was. Where is she? She's all right. She's at the wagon. We best go find Isaac. Or he should be eating that food you hung up for. Let's go. Come on, get I like him to be so finicky. Isaac! What you put in there be so leaky? Your brother and me we never even said hello. I've never felt more guilty about a man dying. Don't. I can't hold you responsible. I'm gonna go get him. No. Me. 
I've got to finish what Isaac started. something for me. What? You find yourself some loose fitting clothes, cut that hair. Why? Every man sees you, including that dark Indian, takes notice. We got enough trouble with nature out here. I don't want to go courting any other kind. I can take care of myself. You whack off that hair, or I'll whack it off for you. cutting your hair, but I'm afraid you wouldn't fool a blind man. Sara needs you. What for? The children are sick. They all have fever. She's over by the wagon. Stomach hurts or something awful, and everything's running right through. Is it all the children? See, si. everyone except for Lizzie. But they were playing together. I don't know what it is. It could be they got some bad food or water. It happened a lot in the army. Doctors call it dysentery. Is he gonna die? Well, not if we keep good water flushing to him, and I can get to Fort Wallace and back quick enough. What's there? They should have a supply of something called laudanum. It comes from opium. It slows up the gut. I will go. I won't let you ride alone. It'll be faster. I don't care. I've been riding alone all my life. Those are my people. They must be protected. They need you here. <laughs> are doing this far north. Corporal, I'm glad you're here. This young man's party is a half a day's ride to the west. This is an authorization for medicine to be taken to them. I want you to give it to the OD in the infirmary. Pick a man to ride escort with you. I'll go. Fine. Set out on the double. Sir. How come you jumped at this duty? You hate them damn Mexican horse than I do. Never known a blue-eyed senorita before. Take a look. Take a good look. That face ain't never seen a razor. When was the last time you saw a backside like that walking around on a man? You ready? I'm ready. You ready, Johnson? Let's get moving.
up a pebble. Gotta work it out. Well, I might as well take this opportunity to rest in the shade while we got it. Give me the medicine, I will go alone. I'm afraid we can't do that. Medicine's U.S. property. Yeah, the lieutenant said we were supposed to <clears throat> dispense it ourselves and bring back the rest. No, my people need the medicine now. You won't need that. Come on down, Chiquita. Them clothes can't hide what you got under them. Please don't do this. My people are very sick. The people are dirt. But you got the makings of a damn fine poke. No, no, no. Oh, wait. You are right. But why make it unpleasant, huh? I like big, strong soldiers. I've had many like you. <laughs> Damn. Come on, Chiquita. Come on now. Hey. No, 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 wait, 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 come here. Shh, shh, wait. Wait a minute. I want to play a little game with you, okay? Just watch me. I want to show you something. Huh? Look at me. Look at me. First, I will show you. I like this game, huh? <laughs> The children. They're pretty dried out. This leaves their pain, though. You did fine. Had Trick out there. Got one of my boys, New Dobbs, locked up. Another named Jasper Fant. They each shot a man. I'll speak to him now. Can't do it. They're gone now. You saying they hanged? Like to come to that. Before somebody could do it, they was paroled. Mr. Gregor Dunnigan. Who's that? <laughs> you just fall from a tree. The most powerful man in the territory, Kenilworth spread. Had instructions from the governor. Out of my hands. Parole, you say? Yes, sir. Mr. Gregor Dunnigan. Obliged to you. Yeah. 
Captain. Captain, I swear, I ain't never been so tickled to see nobody in all my days. Where's Newt? Newt, he's a, uh, well, he ain't with us no more. Why, the hanging? The, the hanging? You said he's gone. He, he is, but he ain't gone from the ranch. He ain't hanged. Thank you, Pete. How'd you let the boy get in all this? I left him in your care. I made a telegraph. Get your horse. Yes, sir. We're folks really roughing it, ain't they, Pete? Ain't seen nothing like it in all my life. Howdy, P. Captain. Howdy, Newt. Didn't know you were back, Captain. I'd been over. Got yourself all cleaned up? It's real good to see both of you. Where's your friend Jasper? He's out riding the line. He'll be back. What was you two doing in the saloon? And I told you to meet me at Claris. Captain, I'm real sorry about that. You can't know how sorry I am. Sorry I don't get it. You had a job to do. Yes, sir. Jasper and me figured we'd spend a night in Miles City. Jasper wasn't range boss. You was. Yes, sir. It was all my fault. But I never figured on... I'm listening. How was I supposed to know, Captain? Can't you be happy I didn't get my neck stretched by a rope? Nate, is my horse ready? Yes, Ferris. Uh, Ferris, this is Captain Call. Ferris Dunnigan. Miss Dunnigan, ma'am? Actually, it's Mrs. Dunnigan, Captain. Nate's told me how much he admires you. And P.I., Nate says you're a real good friend. Thank you, ma'am. I trust you two will stay for a meal and meet my husband later. Thanks for the invite. Kind of you. Meanwhile, Newt, why don't you fill him in on all the excitement? You ready to ride? Mm -hmm. Good to meet y'all. She part of all this parole you're on? Maybe Mr. Dunnigan might can explain it better. No, you can explain it all you like. Way back to Hat Creek. We're going now. I'm afraid I won't be. I'll talk to Mr. Dunnigan first. You got yourself in real deep, didn't you? I owe him, Captain. Dude, you still got your job. Get on your horse right now. Come on, Pete. Boys, heads all turn around. Come on, dude.
that all about? He just want to make sure things was all right. A little crick up ahead to the right. Got some good high ground for you on the other side. What's for supper tonight? I call it Sarah's surprise. I can't wait. Yeah. The lieutenant said that uh, two men he sent with you were gunned down. He said he found them in a the stand of trees. Funny thing is, they were uh, all stripped down to their drawers for some reason. He was curious if he knew how it happened. I told him there was no way you could since you were here with me when his men left to go back to the fort. Is he new book? I can't talk now. I've got to show eyes in that creek. You never killed before? No. Well, it's not like you planned it. May God forgive me. There's no need to whip yourself. I can imagine what happened. But I have wanted. I have planned to kill. I have thought that killing would not be enough. Rangers. I've known a few I thought about plugging myself. There's an ugly breed that gets drawn to that line of work sometimes. Was Augustus McCray one of them? Why can't you leave old Gus be? I keep telling you, they don't come no higher caliber than him. I rode with Gus. I trusted him in all ways. I wish. I wish that it was that easy. What? To trust. You know, we keep an eye on the sky a while. Just might see a shooting star. It's the season. If we do, you make that wish. Might come true. You never know. Speaking of Gus, one night me and him was sitting in a spot just about like this. On a night, just about like this. And we both saw this old star go whizzing overhead. Streaked across the sky from east to west like some great rocket on the 4th of July. And we both made a wish at the same time. Go on. Well, we had one star, but we had two wishes. Now, you got to figure that one of us made our wish quicker than another. Could have been me, could have been old Gus. So who's your thing come true? Yours? Nope. His. What was that? That someday he'd have a child. 
a child with his courage and a burning curiosity about him and everything he ever did or was. your daddy would if he was here. I hope Augustus Murray burns in hell. Come back. Come back. Cried in grief. No, that's grief. Well, if it's cried, why ain't it grief? Why is it? <laughs> because I before E is usually an E sound. And the long I sound in like cried or died or lied, that's an exception. Are you paying attention? I'm trying to. This is shit I picked up for you. No, I washed it for the lesson. It's nice. It suits you. I never had nothing this nice before. Neither did I until I met Gregor. Gave me everything I thought I wanted. What do you want, Newt? I just want things to be right. Did you ever want something so bad you'd do anything to get it? I want to talk to Captain Call. About what? How much I owe Mr. Dunnigan. Why I'm here. He thinks it's because of you. Is it? I don't want him thinking that. Well, you better tell Gregor first. Captain Call, sir. Now, I owe him a powerful lot, too. I'd like to get straight with him. I thought I'd ride over. Captain Call doesn't seem to be a very reasonable man. Well, he's got a narrow set of rules, and I broke him awful bad. Tell me, has he ever talked to you about becoming a peace officer again? No, sir. He's given over to ranching for good, I believe. That's a pity. Man as hard as that could be useful to the future of Montana. How do you figure, sir? This has always been a, a wild country. All these freebooters moving in, filling up all the, all the land. There needs to be some rules and regulations, a new sense of order. There's got to be somebody to enforce that sense of order. So, you ride out to Captain Carl. You tell him that he's invited to join our roundup with all the other big spreads in the area, hmm? You tell him that he's more than welcome. Oh, he ain't much for big groups, sir. I think it's important that he should meet the other people in the area, in the territory, hmm? Find out who his friends are. I know you'll make that very plain to him. Yes, sir. I'll try, sir. Good man. Oh, 
Newt's come back. Newt's here. How you doing? P, it's good to see you. I need to talk to you some more, just try to set things straight a little. Mrs. Dunnigan and I are friends, but I ain't there because of her. Explain quitting the job I give you. I didn't quit. Me and Jasper was in jail. They was gonna hang us. I sent you a telegram. Then Mr. Dunnigan come in and said we was paroled to him. How'd you get in jail? I tried to explain it to you. You're gonna judge me as hard as you judged Jake Spoon the day you hung him, aren't you? There's lots of Jake Spoon in your behavior. You might turn out just like him. You're saying Jake's my paw, Captain? Well, I'd a hell of a lot rather it was Jake than you. Because Jake knew people could make mistakes. Like my mama the day she made me. With you, or Jake, or somebody I don't even know. So if you're thinking I'm bad seed, you go right ahead, because it's probably the truth. And if I'm your seed, it's dead certain. That's what you come to say? You said it. Mr. Dunnigan's having a big roundup at Kenilworth. All the big outfits thrown in together. That's what I come to say. You be on your way. I hold nothing against any of you. You're all my friends. But I ride for Mr. Dunnigan now. And that might come to mean we've seen things the same way for the last time. Adios. to work. Ain't no law against work.
To move here. <laughs> Don't judge me. Hold on. <laughs> Stay still. Everything all shiny and new. Ice cold sarsaparilla. But it might not be there. Can't worry about what might be. You have to deal with what is. When things are hard like this, it's all you can do. Just keep one good thought in your mind and you move toward that. You have your thoughts out? Mr. Herbert's. Betsy? Sarsaparilla. Sounds good.
I want to sign for these, Carl. Oh, you'll do no such thing. You are among the lucky ones, Clara. You all survived. Old man Lawrence. He lost his whole family. And I hear the Fairchilds haven't accounted for three of their folks. You and the children and the Cheyenne woman can stay with me and Inga as long as you need. We won't have it any other way. Thank you. I gotta go check on July. I'm, I'll pick these up later. Uh, how is he? He'll live. He won't be pretty. I'm sorry you got burned out, Clara. Yeah, others did too. We'll be all right. I know we will. to meet Captain Call up at your place. There is no place anymore. We saw the smoke. You all right? Clara? Gideon Walker. Gideon. Pulse is steady. His breathing's fine. Opium's got him out of pain. July. It's clear. I'm here. You saved the horses, July. Didn't lose one of them. Live this long. I suspect there's nothing to fear. What about his eyes? Hard to say until the bandages come off. has only one brand for us. Hey, Jasper, that ain't no red grown calf. I seen its mama. She's bar M. I'd say to get all the slicks we can get when these boys ain't looking. So when'd you turn a thief? Well, you done a little thieving yourself. Or wasn't that you went to Mexico with Gus and Captain and stole that herd out of there? Them was hot creek cows to start with. Brandon Bar M, get your iron in it.
buck. I think you should fetch your boss. Yes, he should see this. Captain. The fellas are still watching us. One of them's got him a spyglass. Maybe it's pirate spying on the sea. Pirates? Might be it's old Captain Kidd's ghost. They say he's still walking around someplace. Ain't that right, Ben? That's right, Captain. <laughs> there ain't no such thing as ghost pee. Seen old Deet's ghost. I never made it back to y'all if you ain't showed me the way. Mr. Dunnigan? Mr. Dunnigan, ma'am? That Texas outfit just south of us is riding by themselves. Mr. Winston wants you to come. That's Captain Call's outfit. Why we need to go with you? Newt had his tongue talking to the captain. Maybe I could do better. I'll see for supper. I see. Gregor Dunnigan. Woodrow Call. Texas Ranger. Was? You drove in a sizable herd last year, mister. The Cattleman's Alliance was hoping that you'd join the roundup. I give the boy you sent answer enough. Hey, he said. He's a fine lad. You must miss him a great deal. Nigel Winston, member of the Alliance. I've been observing your roundup, your independent roundup from a distance. I'd like to take a closer look at these brands. These are my cows. Mistakes are easily made. Careful you don't make one right now. How do we know all these cattle are his? The captain here promised the dying mine that he'd cart him all the way back to Texas to bury him. Somebody who would do a thing like that wouldn't sit here and argue. In front of a dozen armed men, about a few measly head of cattle, now, would he? In the future, Captain, you might find it more profitable to exhibit less antagonism and more cooperation. In the future, my cows will be on my side of the fence, yours will be on yours. You aim to string wire on my range, Mister? No excuse to claim your stock got in with mine. I know how that works. You're taking a very extreme position against people who are willing to be your friends. I don't recall making friends with any son of a bitch calling me a liar. I settle this range, mister. I don't aim to see it grazed out, do you understand that? Good luck to you, then. Not about luck. It's about survival. An Englishman said it best. A poet, John Donne. No man is an island. I don't much read poetry, and that's a failing, I'm sure. But probably no worse than telling other men how to run our own affairs. Bob Wire draws a nasty line, mister. Now you want to talk about it some more. My door's always open. Well, he don't 
seem all bad. That what he said about Newt was nice. As soon as Brian is done, he's bringing war. Anything you say, Cap. No offense, Captain. I never figured we'd be the first outfit to string barbed wire anywhere. Life's unpredictable, T. That's the wonder of it. It ain't Christmas. Let's move it. Yes, sir. It ain't Christmas. I'm sorry about your loss, Claire. I nag Bob to build this house. I don't really give a fig about houses. I just wanted to nag him into it, and I did. Main reason was he wouldn't let me work with the horses. He didn't think it fitting. So I thought, all right then, Bob, build me a house. <laughs> but I always wanted to be down with the horses. Now there's nothing to stop me. I hear Montana is good as the world gets. Rolling hills, waving tall grass, mountains so high they hold the snow year round, and the scent of pine on every breath. Might be the right place for a fresh start. Are you asking me to go with you? Me and a thousand head of wild horses. 400, maybe. I guess you're the final proof no insane ever became a Texas Ranger. I sure wish you'd gather up your mares and head north with us. Woodrow's dead set on having breeding stock, and I guarantee you will pay a fair price. Besides, the scenery would brighten considerably if you came along. You still have that silver tongue. I don't remember ever saying an untrue word to you, Clara. Of course, that was because old Gus was all the time whispering his sweet lies into your ear, and I never got the chance. They were sweet, all right. And as I recall, you were still wet behind the ears, then. You just couldn't see the man in me. And I never dared look at you, because you were Gus's true love. It was a bunch of us boys envied him that. Whatever prompted Woodrow to have this idea about crossbreeding horses? He said it come to him at Gus's grave. He say what? He said a man should leave something more behind than some broken board stuck in a sorry piece of dirt. Gus McRae left a hell of a lot more legacy than that. As a matter of fact, I believe he did. I got something I need to tell you, Clara. And I find it hard to say. I believe he left a daughter. Gus never said anything about daughter. He never knew. Where is she? She come with us on the drive. What? I don't know. Aren't they great birds? I wonder which I'd miss most. Them or the planes. If I was to move away. Don't make no sense to me. Back home, Captain always said he had no use for Bob wire. Well, things is different up here, Needle. Captain says that we gotta keep things separate. I heard old Russell Willis got thrown into some working for that German feller outside of Dallas. Sure he did. He lost his hair too. Oh, was it Bob wire? No, it just fell out.
falling out's no cause for complaint. Be a whole lot worse if it ain't. You had to have it pulled. Oh, burn down them guns! Oh. Pull it. Climb on down yourselves. You heard him. Hurry up! Come on, move! Let's get them horses unhitched. You boys, light out. You deaf old man, move. There you get the other one. Cut them loose. Let him go. Give him a ride, boys! It up just to play a little five card draw. Looks like old Nudes playing for a little higher stakes today, boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he sure is all tickets and tags, all right. said I had to. I don't see why, Ferris. I ain't good at these things. Because I insisted on it. You'll be fine. Part of the family now. Come on. Buckskin there. Are you sure about that, Pete? Yes, sir, Captain. I know it anywhere. Captain! What are you doing here? Who rides that buckskin? Oh, I can't say for sure. You can't? What's this all about, P? Why?
Captain, there's all kinds of fancy people up there. We got big ranchers and there's judges and uh, we even got the governor of the whole territory up there. Uh, Captain, I can't let you do that. Mr. Dunnigan, he wouldn't want you to do that. Oh. <laughs> Pee, it's me. Jasper, I don't guess I know you no more. <clears throat> Friends, neighbors, honored guests. The Montana Cattlemen's Alliance Roundup has been completed. You members seated around this table represent the majority of the money in Montana through the thousands of square miles of land which we own. I would like to propose a toast. Dang it. Who's that? I'd like to know how it is, man, riding this horse. Drove wagons hauling my wire off a cliff. Or ain't this your brand? Mr. Dunnigan. Captain Call. Stay out of this line. No, sir. Captain Call, I know who rides this horse. He'd do anything he thought Mr. Dunnigan might want done. That don't mean orders were given to ride against you. This ass man rides this horse. This isn't Texas, mister. You got no authority here. Any asking to be done here, I'll do it. Dunnigan, only one man warned me not to string wire. Now I'm warning you. You try strong arming me, I'll send you straight to hell. Master, you're a lucky man. There are people here today. Do you hear me, Master? on your mind, Newt. Did Mr. Dunnigan tell you to wreck a wagon full of wire headed for the Hat Creek? Mr. Dunnigan told me nothing. You just did it on your own, didn't you? Why don't you go play up to Dunnigan's wife some more, Newt? <laughs> Sir, oh, my gun, you had to use it. 
Hit a brain to old Newt. Old Buck, he just got careless. He should have never used our stock to crash them wagons. You're gonna need a new foreman. Somebody will do what you can. I just killed a man I trusted. Do you think I'm gonna give his job to a backstabbing bastard like you? I'm your man. I was just doing what I had to. One more syllable to me. What about me? Whisper to this wind even. And what you've got left as a spine will be scraps for the coyotes. You shouldn't be doing that. I think I should. Did you have to kill him? He would have killed you. He wouldn't have killed me. I can take care of myself. I couldn't be sure of that. A man that won't kill to protect his own is either a coward or a fool. And I don't take myself as either. I'm sorry that things have turned out the way they have. But I've begun to think of you as a son. I would do it again. Perhaps if anybody should be doing this, it should be me. I'd like to hear that darn rooster crow before breakfast. Not if you're working for the captain. Jasper Faint what? Riding in. I figured I wouldn't wake nobody in this outfit. B, you was right about that horse that belonged to a feller named Buck. Dunnigan killed him. His old man. Yeah, Newton him was fighting. Dunnigan said he shot him to save Newt's life, but I ain't so sure. Old Buck never did nothing that old man didn't tell him to do. I can't ride for him no more. Seems Newt can't stay away from killings of late. I come to warn you, Captain. I talked to a couple of Dunnigan's men after he, well, after I walked off, and they said that he was getting together another big powwow with some of them outfits from the Alliance, and they was gonna go after what they call rustlers. What's that to me? Well, I figure it means independence, and you are independent. I mean, you are stringing barbed wire, and <laughs> the way he showed him up the other day. <laughs> Where's your shooter? Oh, uh, well, Dunnigan took it to Cap Buck, and he kept it. I figured that you could borrow me one until I could work it off. Don't guess I can, Jasper. Well, Captain, now what happened when you was gone, that was all a mistake. Yesterday you said you didn't know whose horse that was. Well, you see, I was sort of straddling the fence I need there. To trust the men I ride with, Jasper. Trust them all the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, Captain. I truly am. You had the makings once. Maybe you get it back. I hope so. Not on my time. 
Well, I'll work from hell to breakfast, Captain. I, I know I've been a knothead. I, that's all over now. Is here. P? I don't know nobody else up here. Go on, take it. Go on. Fire's a bit high and uh, to the right. P? Some things I said to you, I sure wish I hadn't. Well, it cuts two ways, Jasper. I'll pay you later. When you can. There's us and pick it. It used to be. Thinks he's a horse now. Is that her? It is. Do you know who her mother is? You ever hear tell of Serena Vega? No. Well, her brother was a murderous old snake who wounded Augustus on one of his forays into Mexico. Carl went down there to get him, got caught in a gun battle, and Serena stepped in front of a bullet that Carl had intended for her brother. Gus had been sweet on her, and her death come between Carl and Gus for some time. an independent roundup and nobody stopped you. We all tried and they run us off. What we done is not to do with no one else. You see, if we come to realize we don't stick together, they'll grind us down. One by one. Run their herds on land we proved up. What's all that dynamite for? You plan on starting war? They're keeping all my cows away from water. I gotta blast a well. Fellas need the law. Laws are kept out of it. We're bought and paid for by their alliance. Mr. Call. 
they'd hang us with barbed wire we tried to build a fence. I ain't hanging me. I didn't come here to fight other people's fights. We ain't afraid to fight. But we don't have the men you have. Nobody with experience like you got Ranger. Good day. Get that feed. You build your fence, Captain. You see how long you can sit on it. We gonna get this barbed wire strung without getting killed by rustlers, scout by engines. Don't want to die over no fence, Lippy. What was that? Engines. P. The rider. Where? There. Might could be more. All the luck we have is bad. You can't hit nothing from here. Well, I don't aim to. I just want to warn them off. <laughs> Damn, P.I. That was some shot. I just sort of aimed high. Over this way! I'll be. Captain! P.I. Yeah, picked a wire buster clean out of the saddle, all the way on that rim over yonder. From here, you should have seen it. Bang! Best shooting I ever seen. Any others? Well, I believe so. They got quiet now. They might have scooted over the rim there. Damn right they did. Sharpshooter like P.I. throwing down on them. Levy, you stay put here. Up by three shots, you see trouble. Boys, right on up that hill. Keep a good lookout, P. Jasper Fant Camp. He's still breathing. Figured I'd hit nobody from way there. Get the bullet out. <coughs> Hold him steady, P. Yes, sir. Howdy, P. Well, Jasper, uh... I didn't have nowhere to go. I was out here trying to shoot something from my supper. Did I get it? Ah! Willie Out never left our outfit. Him or new one. They had a choice. No, sir. Not the way that Dunnigan put it to him. It was like one of them debt of honors that you got to pay. They'd gone straight on to Ogallala, like I said, instead of going to town for a horse. They don't. Nothing. To nobody. Ah! Easy, son. Ah! Oh. All right, got it. Give me your breath, little baby. Ain't no sign of nobody. And we 
you can see, Captain. Keep some pressure on this. Well, he's riding. Get him up easy. Captain, what's going on here is all wrong side out. That sense of honor that dies new to John again. You give him that. It was all us that taught him everything he knows. It was you and Gus. Old deeds. Lord knows I tried. Now I don't know what's right none more myself. Hardly. Roll him out. Yes, sir. Dying from no bullet I put in him. And Newt can't wind up digging no grave for him. Can't. Summers are short north of the Yellowstone. I've heard the thing to do in the cold Montana winters is to just slip between two grizzly bear furs and wait till the spring. Hmm. That way, the long winters won't bother you. Just don't wake up them grizzly bears. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Miles City's over there, and Woodrow's place is somewhere at the other side of the Milk River. I don't know what's up there. It could be better than this. Well, Woodrow never saw a river he didn't want to cross. Even if it killed his best friend. Gus always made his own choices. I know. It's just always easier to forgive. We can cross the herd here. Gideon, you were right. She's Gus's daughter. Did she say it? Didn't have to. I've been watching her. She got a lot of Gus in her. She's just so torn up. Breaks my heart. It's a pity you and Gus never met. You loved him? He was the great love of my life. And the great frustration of my life. But some things just aren't meant to be. Like me. 
You can't feel that way. If Gus had known about you, you wouldn't. I promise you that. He would not have cared. What makes you so sure? I know that he raped my mother. That's a lie. Gus McRae had a respect for women I've never seen in any other man. Even Mexicanas. Even whores. My mother was no whore. I didn't mean she was. I mean, Augustus never violated any woman's dignity. It wasn't in him. He loved women. A woman just knows things about a man. Sometimes we wish we didn't. You think about what I told you. It's all true. And when you believe that, maybe I'll be getting a little piece of your father back. Truth has a power all its own. See? Miss <laughs> yeah. Island? Is it bad? Not if you can see. That's what's important. Yeah. But you don't want to be touching it with your hands just yet. If you can help it. be able to turn your neck the same way you're used to. Scar tissue is not going to want to give any. Oh, Lord. Uh. That swelling will go down. The redness should fade some. Uh. What are you, Doc? I didn't do anything. The man in Ogallala did all the work. Mm. Real artist, ain't he? You can see. This must be very hard for you. Easier to wear it than look at it, reckon. <laughs> I think I'd like to be getting back to camp. Send word to the captain, let him know we crossed the Yellowstone. Tell him to throw a few more biscuits on the fire. We will head back to camp. July? Yeah. Yeah. Look for the for a while. Thank you. Well, you sure my best, please. Oh, What's the matter with that man's face? Now, come on, come on, don't stay. Would you mind driving the team?
Thank you, Don. Sure. Do you think it'll change his temperament much? Well, it's hard to say. I wish I could have done more. You did fine. We appreciate it. A good heart. Something in common with July there. It's your heart that amazes me. Mine. It's a rare thing for someone to lose everything they own and still show more concern for others than for their own loss. It's a tender, loving heart you have, Clara. It fills me up just to watch you. A compliment from an expert. Thank you, sir. You know, I learned something in the dressmaking business. It ain't the fabric, the pattern, or the price that's important. It's the fit. And that ain't the dress at all. It's the woman wears it. And you sure do fit your dresses. You are a smooth talker, Mr. Walker. It hasn't always been my best virtue, I'll admit. I... In the past... You don't have to explain. I always loved it about Gus, no matter how I said other. Let's just say it's part of your charm, too. Mrs. Allen? Mm -hmm. I brought my best suit with me, and I've been looking for a reason to wear it. Would you do me the honor of joining me for a proper sit-down dinner? Judas Priest, what are you doing here? Every night you come to this same place. Why? It's a good place to think. About me? Ferris. What do you think about when you think about me, Newt? I didn't say I was thinking about you. <laughs> but you were, weren't you? That's why I scared you. You were wishing I was here, and here I am. Where's Mr. Dunnigan? He went to Miles City. You shouldn't be here. Well, you're here. Safe, aren't I? Well, of course you're safe. I just don't think he'd like it. He knows how I feel about you, Newt. He told me so himself. And he trusts you. Ferris, don't do this to me. Being friends is one thing, but this ain't right. Isn't right? It ain't funny. I'm not laughing. I don't feel at all like laughing right now. The world's not a simple enough place for things to be clear and proper all the time. Isn't that obvious? gonna happen again. I feel sort of guilty. I could have stayed in that tub bath for a week. Hmm. I don't feel the least bit guilty. Just a little jealous of that tub. <laughs> you are shameless. Though I will say it's flattering. I don't mean to flatter or offend. 
but I do mean to get your attention. Tell me, were you in love with your wife? I believe I was. It seems she was taken from me before I was able to perfect being a good husband. I wanted to show her. I just didn't get the time. I'm sorry. It was that way for me with my boys. Buried all three before I was able to love them enough. Took the romance out of me. If romance was what you were hoping for, I've left it behind. Do you regret that? Oh, yes. And no, I'm, I'm too strong for the normal man and too jealous once my feelings get riled. Strong and jealous. My favorite traits in a woman. Don't dally with me, Gideon. Never. Captain, a uh, message from Gideon Walker. The herd has crossed the Yellowstone. Clara Allen has come with us, and she has brung her horses. Clara Allen? And her ranch burned down. Oh, we going to ride out there to meet him? Made it all the way past the Yellowstone without us. I reckon they can make it here all right. Well, I've never seen that many horses in all my life. Well, hell, I sure don't want to make no grown man cry. We'll be leaving first light. Uh, we'll be leaving at first light. I'll show all them horses. I sure would like to ride out there with you. Well, Jasper, I'm just pleased that you can ride at all. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know if I'll ever be able to thank you enough, P. For pretty near to killing you? No, for saving my life. Hell, if you hadn't fired that lucky shot, there ain't no telling what had happened to me. P. You're but the best friend I ever had. Sure is funny how life turns out, ain't it? <laughs> All the time. I swear. <laughs>
Texas Mustang. Coming all this whole way. I wonder what they think of Montana. I believe that is him, the Gideon Walker. It is. Here you go, Woodrow, right to your door. Horse is supposed to cover ground quick and cattle. Ever hear that? Good to see you again, P.I. Yes, sir, Gideon Walker. There's more than a few of us. We had our troubles. Indian killed Isom's brother down the nation. Isaac's dead. Cut his head off. You ever hear of a mixed breed Cherokee by the name of Jack Jackson? We met. How'd you keep the herd bunched without Isaac? Take a look. <laughs> Slickest trick I ever seen. Followed him up here like Mary's little lamb. Ain't that the captain? Come on, Molly. Come on, Dolly. What'd you promise her? I told her you'd do the right thing. We did not discuss numbers. Ma'am. Captain. I'm sorry for your misfortune. Seems you were destined to get my horses. I'm afraid the Allen family comes with the bargain. Ed Craig. Hey.
See why I kept crossing rivers. Smile, Woodrow. I just might. See? Now, who left them buckets here? There ain't no place to leave buckets. Get out of here now. Them chickens. What's the chicken coop? Back there, see? see? I don't see new. You ain't gonna neither. He ain't still in jail. I come back, he was gone. Well, couldn't you find him? Quit on the responsibilities I give him. Get out that feed. You youngins, take this to go. He's in the feed. What about your responsibility? I'll fetch you. I got a whole mess in waiting if we're through here. I don't guess we are. I didn't quit on that boy. I brought him north with me. <laughs> like you brought your cattle. Let somebody put another brand on one of them, you'd hang whoever did it. Let him take your own son, yeah, just let you off the hook, doesn't you it? You and me's got a snowflake's chance in hell of getting on here together, Clara. Door on that subject is barred for good. You think you've always done right. That's your ugly pride. You never done right. You're a vain coward for all your fighting. And while we're talking about children, there ain't a child on the face of the earth you ever done right by. You have the house. Just set my things on the porch. I don't want your house. I don't. First time it rains, you're the one all snug and dry. You won't feel so bad about it. for these goats. El Patron, it is beautiful. We will work very hard for you, Patron. We speak English. You done good.
We had a deal, lad. I worked hard for you, Mr. Dunnigan. This isn't something you should be walking away from. Anyone who can read, deal with ranch accounts, as well as handle men and cattle, can more or less write their own bill of sale in this neck of the wood. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. And I appreciate what you tried to do for me. But I just can't stay on no more. Why's that? It's private, sir. It's my wife, isn't it? I'm not one to believe in what's whispered. But I got ears. Got eyes. I ain't done anything to disrespect you, Mr. Dunnigan. I'm not sure I know what I'd do if I thought you had. I ain't afraid of any man. That ain't the reason. I know that too. That's why I can't let you go. I got something to show you. I might find my destiny now, Newt. It's too late for children. For me, anyway. I met Ferris on a trip I made once. She was bold enough to give me a lot of what I'd miss with children. And woman enough to give me a whole lot of what I'd miss living... living in the wilderness. She needs us both, boy. But she can't have all of you. Not yet. Not until my time's up. Mr. Dunnigan. No, no, no. Come here. There's more. This is the other side of it. What I built up from nothing. What I love as much as... as the woman that's falling in love with you. I don't understand. It's a man's well, Newt. Ferris could never... You know something? You remind me of somebody I knew. Once. Who? Me.
many tears. Can you do this for me? But this morning you thought you were biting off. Don't recall what I thought. Might as well get this set. We have a problem. Never had much else. Augustine is Gus's daughter. She got to be taken care of proper. We owe that to Gus. Now, you're going to see to it. And so am I. Knowing you, Woodrow, you're going to have to chew on this a while, so I'll be waiting. I believe I'll go on if you're standing up. Vega. Augustina Vega. Serena Vega was your mother. Yes. The woman you killed. She stepped out in front of a bandit should have died. She saved her brother's life. A man who robbed, burned, murdered both sides of the border, even his own people. I did nothing that night wouldn't do again. Well, he would have. Where was my father that night? Back in Bravo, fighting the fever from a bullet your bandit uncle put in him three days before. Did he talk about my mother to you? Ever? He did, as I recall. What did he say? Many things. And that he felt love for her. Oh, you Hello, old Gus said he loved someone every other week. Have to say him in at that time, though. Didn't talk to me over a year. After I told him, she stopped a bullet from my coat. My uncle told me that he raped her. Augustina. We give you that name. all you need to know, don't it? Didn't know. Didn't know about me. If you had, we'd have met a long time ago. for Woodrow. These boys have been here over a year and they're still sleeping on the floor. Got a roof? Something to keep the wind off of? Sort of. It's deplorable. Well, you can be certain of one thing, Clara. What's that? 
and I'm damn sure going to see you get to bed. I just thought you should know. I got me a new partner, which is the daughter of Augustus McCray. That's fine. That's just fine. Well, that's it then. Well, I swear. <laughs> I suppose you'd be leaving too. How long you figure it'd take to build a house? Had a house. Till you turn this place into a home for widows and orphans. I mean a real house like the one Claire had. We got good hands here now. Lots of mouths to feed is what we got. Gotta admit that music's soothing. I don't admit that, and you don't want me to neither. Why's that? I did the argument be over. And might even get some sleep. No. No, not here. You belong with the women in the house. Warm in the house. Get on down there. Go on. Yourself. Hell of a night, Woodrow. How many stars is up there? You start counting. Better dang well beat yourself. I 
I'd say more right. I'd hardly knew North. Who? Jackie Jackson. Killer from the Indian nations. What about our cows? We got more cows, Newt. You men mean a hell of a lot more to me. Come on. Got to get these two back to headquarters. Keep going. You may be a harder judge than I am. You want me to back off from what we just saw? I don't think you want me running anything around here. You want justice. So do I. But it's got to be regulated. When the governor hears there's an outlaw or a savage as the man we just seen on the run, then he'll have to back my idea for a militia. Then we'll get the order we need. Where I come from, we did our own regulating. I'm trying to get you to think a little broader than that. We got to set rules for our entire territory right here. Don't you see we could have chased those men down and strung them up to a tree? But what about the next rustling? The one after that, hmm? And so on, hey? We've got to use this situation to set a precedent that will not be forgotten in my lifetime. Maybe not even in yours. Don't you understand that, you? I'm trying to. You're a good man. You're a good man! Hold on to him! Hold on to him now! <laughs> Just as good as the men, Daddy. Sure does. Maybe better if you ask me. Get back, get back, get back, get back. More respect for him, too. Respect for a horse? So, you want a horse to be gentle, you be gentle. You want a horse to be confident, you got to be confident. Horses like the rider that sits on it. Nervous rider, don't know what to say. Horses don't talk, Dad. Oh, sure they do. You sneak out real late at night. Don't let the horses know you're coming. You hear them having whole conversations. They be talking, <laughs> arguing amongst each other. It's true. I knew a horse once <clears throat> used to write poetry. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't spell worth a hoot. But the words, they all rhymed out nice and even, though. Oh, Dad, you're joking us. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, July. You want to try the next one? 
Well, you know something about this one I don't want to find out? Uh-uh. <laughs> Got him. Hey, compadre. Bring cloud watcher down here. <laughs> Ready for these? Well, I better be. You can come up here for a free ride. Can't we keep his head down where it belongs? Good luck. He's got something to prove. Especially after the way he's seen you ride. Seems we've brought a plague upon ourselves. It used to be a few hungry Indians running off our stock. Now it's outlaws driving them all the way up into the Missouri breaks, locking out their brands and selling them for themselves in Canada. And what's even worse, homesteaders, which in my book stands for rustless. People with a dozen head one year and a hundred head the next. There's some mighty busy cows there. <laughs> or some mighty busy men. Now then, I had three dozen head of cattle stolen yesterday, and two good horns took bullets in the exchange. I'm getting heartily tired of this gentleman. It's time we took action. Now then, you should all have a copy of this list here. I want you all to look very carefully at every single name on it. I don't see that hat, Creek Honcho, on this list. Woodrow Cowell is no rustler, gentlemen. Well, he ain't here. Why ain't he on this list? Cowell's a Texas Ranger. Or hmm? well, he used to be. Sure, we've had our differences, but I am confident that when the time comes, he will ride with us. It's just that he's a very self-sufficient man. Everything's under control. What about Captain Call? You can't be serious about leaving him off that list. What's at stake here is far more important than one mind. Hmm. You said that no one would be independent of whatever actions we take. Precisely. But when these actions take place, every independent, including Captain Cal, will come under our protection. And they'll soon see that without that protection, they will not be able to survive. And when Montana becomes an independent state, then the Alliance will be able to control the price of beef, its distribution through the new railway lines, and the people in office. Gentlemen, to the Alliance. The Alliance. Aye. Women are funny creatures, Woodrow. You bring them the breadth of the country on the back of a horse, and when they get there, they expect to sleep on a mattress at night, not a cold dirt floor. That's what you're going to town for, mattresses? 
I'm going to order a mattress and sundry other things people need when they establish a home. Well, if you're buying a mattress, that's your business. Better not show up on any Hat Creek account. Don't get too close to no dress shops, neither, while you're there. Don't want to lose you. I can't leave this outfit now. Someone's got to be here what has a feeling for women. Hey. 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 Work loves you know. A terrible thing how some people take to liking each other, isn't it, Woodruff? You getting at something? Nope. Woodrow, I want to set something straight. Hurry, Minnie Tear. I know Gus was mostly to blame for you leaving Newt. You having to haul him all the way back to Texas is what done it. I reckon we can always find someone dead to blame things on. It was Gus made you leave when you did. If you'd have been there, Newt wouldn't have gotten into trouble. If I was here, Newt wouldn't have been put to the test. The test seems to have failed. You were fair with Gus's girl. And it pleases me so that you were. As if Gus was reaching back from the grave to clean up some of the mess he made. It weren't your fault alone. Gus just ain't around to blame. And in the pain of losing him, I suppose I held only to his finer qualities. I appreciate your hostilities as subdued. Get some candy? <laughs> Don't you eat too much. You get big and fat like me. You don't want to be fat like Cholo. You take care of my girls now. Ride back. Have someone to come along town with us. Agostina? Go right ahead, July. High time you get your nerve up. Martin here would like to change places with you. Do I get a say in the matter? What would you say? I'm afraid of men like you. Afraid? Why's that? Some men just scare a woman. That can't be a good thing. It might be. I've never been sure. Maybe we should find out. 
<laughs> it's been a long time since a new man made me laugh. Are they done? Done. We get the pickings. Be quick. <laughs> Ride.
<laughs> Party. Pretty good. I the hardest part is over. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Captain! Captain! Here's an ambush. I'll be the blister. Where are they? They're all ambushed in the canyon. Boys, get on the man up. <laughs> and whoever cut him down. You got a piece of him, though. Blood trail lead this way. P? Captain. Tell the boys. Lieutenant Clara. We'll go on. We ain't gonna lose this sun base. Finish this for you, Roger Walker. sack over his head. All right. 
Who's new? What is it? Mr. Dunnigan wants you up the house. I need a fresh horse. Frank, man needs a horse. Tend to that one. What happened? Outlaws. Time's come, Newt. Do you know who done it? Same mom we think shot two of our own. I want this whole outfit armed and ready for a week's ride in 30 minutes. Where are we headed? To put a stop to what's already out of hand. 30 minutes. Yes, sir. Do such a thing. Can't just be rustlers or thieves. Can't. Vultures. Paint horse. He is. This far north? That's him, Captain. Son of a bitch killed my brother. If you get into those hills, you can hold us off. I need me an extra horse. I only got one. Therapy. Is that him, Captain? Cherokee Jack? I believe so.
Get him. He had that on him. Money. Are the kids from their Uncle Isaac? No, nah, okay. can't. It's blood money. And then now. When I hear what I want, we will. Delegations from all the ranches of the Alliance. They look like an army. That's right. Cherokee Jack. I'm supposed to say a message to the women. Get the women and children to the fort. You're to go quickly. Well, where's us? With the captain. He's going to help stop the Dunnigan outfit. We're sent for help from them homesteaders. What about Cherokee Jackson? He's gone to help him. Yeah.
Billy, fetch my shotgun. Are you sure the governor's going to stand behind you on this? If those are our cattle behind those fences, he will. Looking for water, Rob. I'm Rob. I'm Greg Altanigan. I know you. I hear you've been selling my cattle. Well, that's a lie. Well, in that case, you wouldn't mind us looking over your stuff, would you, mister? Stay back. Go ahead. That one's ours. That one, too. Well, that can't be. I've never seen that animal before. You know the penalty for stealing cattle, don't you? But I ain't done nothing. Put down the gun. He's just a boy. Dad. Of guns. Better places any. Make a stand. You bet. They're coming. Let's right. gather up.
I'm riding out to them. Something happens to me. They keep on this way. Wait till the main body gets full over the ridge before you throw your dynamite. Otherwise, you just warn them and lose them. When he blows, there'll be some confusion. Snap off a few quick ones. Then ride away if you can. The other ranchers come to you, join with them. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck to you, Captain. Captain, I'll ride with you. No pee. You stay by these men. Yes, sir. If I get killed, just stuff my body in the old place. That'll do. Yes, sir. As far as you go, Dunnigan. How's that? The killer, name of Cherokee Jack, said you paid him to gun down my people. That's a dumb lie. Said this is what you give him to do it. I can't abide you, Dunnigan. Murdering just to get more grass. That's a hell of a sorry thing. You don't know what sorry is yet, mister. I think I do. And I hold you responsible. Quite frankly, what you think doesn't matter anymore. Now you get out of my way. I'm going to count to three. You don't drop that shooter in the dirt, I'll put a hole in your heart. <laughs> what about all these men? Cut off the head. Rest don't rattle long. You're a fool. One. Neat. He's lying to you, boy. Captain, don't lie. You mean I do? Yes, sir. That's your money pouch. I remember. I'll kill you myself if I have to. Two. Hey. I got some information in here. Take a look. Captain! Drop your guns. Yeah. 
them are ours. They got to pay for what they done. Mr. Tompkins, if you want law and order, it's going to have to start with you. You can't possibly think that it... One. Surely you can't imagine... Two. If we surrender, we demand a proper trial. You'll get your trial. Tell the others it's over. unto me, O God, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. Amen. Amen. Talk to Cholo and the girls. And we're going back to Ogallala. Uh, you are welcome to stay. I feel welcome, I do. But the, the little I've learned in my life has been from heart lessons. You can't run away from the ashes. You have to rebuild from the ashes. Will you wait for first folds? Well, the same to you. We want to beat the frost. I'll see to it, P.I. and some of the boys. Get you all the way safe back. Patrón, vaya con Dios, patrón.
You still don't want to talk. Kind of have to give him that, Newt. Man just leaned on as hard as Captain Call. Leaves him some time alone. I suppose. As long as I've known Woodrow Call, he's been in charge. Think about all them questions been put to him in his lifetime. All them problems other folks bring to him. <laughs> Wonder he won't leave Texas. What happens as soon as he gets up here? No problem. What does everybody look up to? Is it people that bring him problems, Ison? Or him looking to take them on? Well, can't say it doesn't matter as much, really. As long as he handles them. One problem at a time. I need to tell you, when I was uh, riding back from the canyon, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you to go to town, uh, you know, with us. And oh, then that shooting started. And... July. Us. With us. With, uh, me. Yeah, <laughs> with me. <laughs> you went against him. I had to. Why? Did you ever know his plans? Really? That alliance? Did you? I shoulda. I know what he told me. I just never added up to what he did. I just could never figure that. Never. Well, he was good to me. I never tried to picture anything else. Will you be staying here? Yes. You won't take what he offered you, will you? I don't think he'd want that offer to stand the way things turned out. It stands. No. Goodbye. Go to hell, New Dobbs. somebody? Found him. Get things said? What could be? We said some hard words between us. Yes, sir. I regret that. Me too. Some things didn't get said, too. Well, that's over now. No, it ain't.
Your mother, Maggie. Gus, he said I let her down. Never cared to admit that. Well, that was a long time ago, Captain. Not for me. I'm so sorry to have never known her. It wasn't about you, Newt. It was me, how I felt about myself, my failings. You picked a good spot, Captain. Well, there's a bunch of work to do. Seems you might know horses almost good as me now. Captain, I'm moving on. This is your dream. Ain't no reason it can't be your dream, too. It's the same reason you couldn't live a life you didn't decide on by yourself. I understand that now. I'd be obliged if you tell P.I. and the boys thanks for all they've done. Don't want a big goodbye. It's time, Captain. I reckon. Dobbs, that was your mother's name. Call. That's Scots, so they tell me. It's had no dishonor I'm aware of. Steady work and steady wages. This civilized world of yours, Captain. We ain't part of it. What about that poor Maggie you throwed that child with? What was his name? Newt, wasn't it? St. Jake's my paw, Captain. Well, I'd a hell of a lot rather that it was Jake than you. Jake knew people could make mistakes. Like my mama the day she made me. My boy I'll draw us a nasty line, mister. Sounds honorable guys never do. No, they give him. Give him that. I can't run away from the ashes. 
have to rebuild from the ashes. 